Hello everybody, welcome back to another video by Dissociated. This is mostly Kaya. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I made a TikTok because somebody asked if I could do a makeup tutorial on a look that we did. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a chill, very chill makeup look. I've set things up as much as I can. I've got like an old school setup going on at the minute. I've got my camera on a big pile of books. <laughs> And like a little mirror here, and hi, gorgeous! You coming to join us? What did you bring? Did you? We're also in the middle of a um, record-breaking heat wave in England at the minute. The same temperatures as um, Texas or Florida or something like that. And uh, it's too hot for me. It's way too hot. For me. I mean, if you have seen um, our videos before, we did this nice new setup. You will know that. I am pretty much the same colour as the white wall behind me. I've got a blue light on it now to try and change the colour because people were like, you're the same colour as the wall, I can't see you. I'm not built for this heat. I'm not built for it. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I generally don't put foundation all over my face. I use it just where I need it. Some people might argue that that's everywhere. Um, to that, I'd say that's rude. <laughs> I like to let it uh, sit for a bit under my eyes so that I get a decent amount of coverage because we have very dark circles under our eyes. Press it into the skin around there as well. But it's all personal preference really. The great thing about makeup is that there's just no rules to it. You can do whatever you want, whatever suits you best. So what I've done is I've gently patted that over my nose and I haven't added any more. I've just been blending out with my finger some people were also asking us about um, skincare and what we do for skincare. We drink a hell of a lot of water, like a lot of water. We're also at the age where we apparently should be using anti-aging stuff. <laughs> Stop! In my head I'm still like, wow, we survived past like 13. I'm still a teenager, right? I'm 25 years old. When the fuck did that happen? We're apparently supposed to be using retinol and stuff like that. We've used retinol like a handful of times, but we're really bad at sticking to routines. We could absolutely blame our DID. I think it's totally possible for us to do that. I think that our system in general are just really crap at taking care of our body and sticking to routines, especially alters that don't really care about how the body looks. I don't think that there's anything wrong with aging. And it's taken time to get to this point, um, and this is just me, Kaya, who thinks like this. I can't speak for anyone else in my system and I wouldn't try to. Any form or proof of aging, every single thing that changes is a proof that we are getting older. If we're getting older, that should theoretically mean that we're not stuck in a memory. We are still living life. We exist. We survived. Look at us getting older. We're not kids anymore. We made it past that period in our life and we are still going. And I think that's such an achievement. I'd like it to think that it's an achievement for anybody. The world is hard. Surviving in this world is hard, no matter what you've been through, what country you're from. Getting older is a privilege. Some people don't get the chance to get older. Some people have their lives taken from them without their consent, you know? Why should we need to hide that? So in answer to skincare, it was a very roundabout way to answer that question. We use um, nia niacinamide and we mix that in with our um, moisturiser and we just use a CeraVe and we mix uh, niacinamide in with that and put that on and we always make sure to moisturise before we do our makeup because it helps the makeup sit nicely on the skin and um, we do get dry patches on our skin so it helps stop any makeup clinging from any dry patches that we might have. Now it's time to move on to eyebrows. My eyebrows inside are a, a lot thicker than ours and um, ours just never grew back after we plucked them when we were 13. <laughs> and uh, that was back when really sparse brows were the, the thing, the fashion. It doesn't matter how long we give it or how long we wait, they will not grow in any more than this. That's fine, we work with what works for our face naturally. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown <laughs> which we've had for like seven years <laughs> and I'm just gonna fill in 
the shape of my brow. I'm not going over where the natural hair grows. I'm just filling out that shape. I'm using hair-like strokes and making sure there's a nice fade because our skin is very pale and our hair is very, very dark, almost black. It can be really easy to, when we're matching colors to the natural hair that we have, for it to look really stark. It can be quite tricky to like accentuate the features we have without making it look really fake and startling just because of that color difference. We have quite a high arch to our brows, like there and there. That's our natural arch. I actually prefer our brows to look a little bit more straight. I don't feel like there's that much I can do about that, but uh, that's the shape I try to, to add to rather than enhancing our natural arch. So you can see the difference between a filled in brow and a not filled in brow. And if you want to do something more creative, do it. Live your best life. Your face is just a mask for your body. It's your avatar, do whatever you want with it. It is for you to enjoy. If you wanna have bright pink hair and bright blue eyebrows, do it. Who cares? It's not gonna make a difference to anyone else's life. Find the things that bring you joy and stick to it. This is also a piece of advice if you are trans or gender fluid or just want to make your face look more masculine or more feminine, um, I personally find that it helps give my face a more masculine look if I go for straighter brows. This isn't gonna work on every face, this is just what suits our face. And then if I want a more feminine look, the more arched brows, um, I feel makes our face look more feminine. That doesn't mean that it's a rule that everybody should follow. That's just something I've noticed on our face. Okay, so that is brows and base done. The next thing that I like to do is eyes. I'm gonna be following a makeup look that I did on TikTok. So this isn't gonna be a like, loads of eyeshadow type look. This is gonna be a very sort of sultry eyeliner based look. If you want to, you could put a medium brown in the crease of your eye um, and blend that out and it will give you more dimension to your eye shape. I'm not gonna do that because I don't think my energy will last that long. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take this eyeliner, which is currently my favorite and it's called the Physician's Formula. It's a waterproof, ultra fine liquid eyeliner and it's got some stuff in it that's supposed to be good for your eyelashes or something. But the case for it is really cool. It looks like there's uh, like water droplets on it because it's waterproof. I just think it's neat. I actually start with the flick before I do the line. So I go to the edge of my eye and I draw upwards. I try to aim for the top of my ear, which is there. <laughs> Um, and follow the line of my lower lid. Practice makes perfect. And then pull it back towards your eye to make a little triangle shape. You can make that as thin or as thick as you want. Now I'm gonna do the flick on the other side so that I know that they're even. or even enough. And if you're new to this, don't worry. Practice really does make perfect. It's very hot. It's too hot, bro. And then if you have hooded eyes like me, as you can see, when I look straight ahead, my um, eyelid covers the rest of my eyelid. They're looking quite good today. Sometimes there's more of a crease than others. But um, if you do have hooded eyes, I try and make sure that the flick connects to my eye before that crease starts or just at the beginning of where that crease ends here. And then stick as close to your eyeline as possible. So now I'm just gonna draw a line from the iris, as I said before, and connect it to the wing. Just like that. Remember, it does not need to be perfect. And then I'm going to start from the inner corner and I'm gonna make a small triangle shape, again, following the line of my actual eyelid. So I'm following the line of my upper eyelid first and then I'm gonna connect that from the corner to my lower lid. 
just like that. That is all you need to do. Take it very slow and easy with that. And then I'm going to stick, again, as thin a line as I can, as close to the eyelid as possible, connect from that corner to the midway line that we've just made. If it doesn't suit you, you don't have to do a um, line this thin. It helps for us because of our hooded eyes, but whatever works for you. So what that's done now is given us a cat eye look and we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now as you see, we have the same line on both sides, as close as possible. And one thing I do wanna mention is if you're doing any kind of lining along your waterline or in the inner corner like we've just done, you're gonna want a waterproof eyeliner. Some people find that gel eyeliners work best for this. I think that waterproof liquid eyeliner, as long as you've got a good one, is just fine. But especially if you're quite teary around that area, it will smudge in your inner corner if you don't have a waterproof liner. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We are gonna be putting false lashes on with this look, so that will cover it slightly anyway. Nobody's gonna care, and practice makes perfect. Don't stress. Okay, next we are gonna do blush. Or are we? Okay, so before we put anything else on top of the base that we already have, I like to set that base with setting spray. I also like to avoid using powders on my face because I feel like powders really bring out any dry skin patches that we have, um, makes it easy to look cakey, settles into my lines. I don't know, I know this tips. Ow, balls, fuck. And try not to spray it in your eyes. Oh, balls. Woo! Yeah, try not to spray it in your eyes. <laughs> I always use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This is a little travel sized one. It's the only setting spray we've ever used. Swore by it in university. Nina used it all the time. We would put it on, go out for like a whole night of clubbing in the student clubs, come back, uh, it get a little cheeky with our boyfriend, sleep there without taking our makeup off and it would still be on in the morning. I don't like to use powders. This is the Elf Putty Blush in Turks and something, it's rubbed off, that's the colour. So I use the brush that came with it, swizzle it around in there, and then I tap it onto my skin so that it doesn't disturb the um, foundation that's underneath. I don't like to put it on the apples of my cheeks, I like to put it just above. We have quite a, a round face, quite a childlike looking face. I think. So I bring it up also onto around the corner here and onto our temples. And I find that that gives our face a more of a lifted look. And you can put on as much or as little as you like. I personally really like this color on our skin. It's a really nice pinky peach. And now we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. So I use this perfectly sculpted by Jolie Bo Booty. Jolie Booty by Jolie Beauty. And I use these two. I do it very gently and I just follow where my cheekbone sits and I press it in. Just like that. You can barely see it. And then I blend. The further into your face you go, you're gonna want lighter colors. That will help disperse it better. To clean it up, I pick the lighter skin color in the palette and I just stamp underneath where the line needs to be. That definitely helps even out the blend. That warms up my face a lot, so I mainly use it for that reason. If you want to add some under your chin, real techniques, you can get them really cheap at the, um, the drugstore. I get mine from Superdrug. I don't know if that's a thing in America, but you can get them from like any drugstore. Most of the stuff we get and wear is really easy to get hold of and really easy to find. Like, um, we had some comments on our jewellery in that video where we were asked to do this makeup. It was Primark, it was like a necklace that has three necklaces attached to it, but it's a one necklace. It was like £1.60 or something. And then some ear cuffs that was a pack of three that was also like £1. It's really easy to get hold of. 
stuff like that. You don't have to spend a fortune. It looks the same. I just don't think it's necessary. It's not like we wear it a lot because we don't really go out. So it suits us just fine. In the video, I also had on some fake freckles. I have this freck stuff. You can just use um, eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow. Um, with this, I just tap it onto my skin, pat, pat, pat it around. It doesn't look natural. It probably would on other skin tones, but because my skin is so pale, it doesn't look natural on me, but I'm happy to wear it for filming. Well, I guess if you do it right, it can look natural. I don't know whether this will show up on camera. Our best friend, Anna, who we grew up with, has gorgeous freckles, and we always thought, oh my goodness, her freckles are so pretty, and we just always thought freckles look so gorgeous. It's like kisses from the sun. And I actually happen to have freckles inside along my cheeks and um, nose bridge. So this helps me feel a little bit more like myself. A little constellation on your face, which is adorable. If anybody is self-conscious about their freckles, please don't be. They are so, so sweet. If you happen to be doing fake freckles, um, as well. We have a round face, so I like to apply them around my cheekbones and nose because it helps give that more of a lifted look. Also, if you do want to do some glittery stuff, I really like glitter, which is new. I have this palette, which I got because one of my friends had it at Comic-Con and I was obsessed with the glitters in the palette and I was just like, holy crap, I need it. It's a Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette and it just has some gorgeous press glitters in there and I like to press them over the lid with a teeny tiny little brush and you don't need glue or anything like that. What I did in the video, I took Aura, which is this color here, that color, and then I just pressed that onto the lid. Usually you'd wanna put lighter colors in your inner corner. Not today, bitch. Because I don't have eyeshadow on, I like to put a pop of color in that inner corner. I like to make sure it's nice and pressed in, nice and pigmented. These are very pigmented, by the way, they're incredible. Not gl gritty at all, doesn't feel like you've got anything on your face and so easy to blend. So I like to blend it out up the top there. Look how pretty that is. So this color called All In, it looks like a sort of gold color. It looks really sheer. It's like, a, it almost makes your eyes look wet. And if you keep blending over it, it disperses the glitter and leaves a shine that just makes your eye look sparkly and just wet and like you've just come out of a pool. Just It just looks gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. We don't usually buy new makeup or things like that for ourselves, but literally when I got hold of this palette, because my friend had it, I was like, I immediately put it down in my notes app and I was like, I'm obsessed with this. I can't believe it. This isn't sponsored or anything, by the way. I just like, I'm a big fan of this. Next, we are gonna put some glue on our lashes. So I am using the Diamond Lashes by Lola's Lashes. They are the only lashes we've ever used. So I'm gonna put my duo glue and a thin layer on these lashes. That's too much glue. And why do we use duo glue? Because we saw a TikTok of a, um, a woman who <laughs> was in, very very strong winds so strong that she had to like scream to be heard by the camera her eyelashes were flapping around all over the place but they were not coming off right i just remember her screaming into the camera duo glue <laughs> that's good enough for me <laughs> so that's why we use duo glue again none of this is sponsored also i have that annoying tiktok sound in my head that's <laughs> insert card or select payment type Input pin to complete transaction. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I'm not gonna put it starting in my inner corner. Oh no. We are going to create the illusion of a wider, longer eye. Added a tiny bit of that glitter to my uh, cheekbone because I have no self control. Anyway, I'm gonna stick that right there. So it starts right where my iris ends and you can cut it to size and do whatever you need to. There you go. Cat eye. There she is. She's beauty. She's grace. She will punch you in the face. Um, 
Insert card, select payment type. Input pin to complete transaction. Jeffree Star lipstick that we've had for forever in the shade Gemini, a nude color. <laughs> Just like that, and then I don't like the harsh outline, so I blend it. Insert cash or select payment and then if you want to, you can add some gloss over that too. I'm using this really cheap e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss, a sheer red with glitters in it. To avoid the gloss getting the lipstick on your teeth, it's gonna look ridiculous, but put one of your fingers in your mouth and pull it out as though you're sucking on a straw, and it will uh, take any of the excess gloss or lipstick around the inside of your lips so that that doesn't press into your teeth. And there you have your look. Done. And I can take my hair down now. I always put my hair up when I'm doing makeup so it doesn't get in my hair. And there you have it. Move this light around in front of my face so that you can see the way the glitter glitters. And there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that it was helpful for some of you. Um, let us know if you want some more uh, tutorials and maybe we can do more of like a chatty get ready with me, talk about DID, talk about some of the stuff going on in our life, things we've discovered in therapy, that kind of stuff. Just let us know if that's what you wanna see and uh, we will make it work. Also, just a reminder about our crowd justice fundraiser. We are still raising money to be able to afford legal representation for our legal cases against a man who we are taking to court for harassment and uh, to finalize the intellectual property case. You can learn about all of that in the videos up here and in the description box where you can also find the link to our crowdfunder. Unfortunately, some people have been um, messing with us uh, by putting in very large amounts of money which then obviously don't go through because... Hi! Yeah, it's not very nice, is it? That money obviously can't be taken out because they're fraudulent. Um, for example, one person uh, said that they were donating 999,999 pounds. Um, so it makes it look like we've hit our goal when we haven't because then in a couple of days when Crowd Justice tries to take that money out of their account to add to the fundraiser, that money is not there, so the um, the amount that's shown drops back down again. So it's basically a ploy to stop people from donating because it's supposed to make people think that we've hit the target when obviously we haven't. So please don't um, pay any attention to that. We will let you know when we have hit our target amounts and target goals. We will absolutely always keep you updated. Hi, gorgeous. A reminder once again that all the money goes straight to crowd justice and they send it straight to our lawyers. None of it ever touches our hands. The only way it can be used is for our legal representation. So if you would like to donate, please consider donating and sharing and tell your friends about it and get the word out there. Um, we've only managed to get this far because of you and we really appreciate it. But we have lots of videos coming soon. We are trying to get back into this full time. Who's a gorgeous girl. So if you do want more Serafina content, because obviously Serafina content is much better than actual dissociative content, as I'm sure you'll agree, please subscribe, like this video, and um, give us a comment and tell us how you feel about it, and we will see you sometime soon. Come here, miss. With lots of love from us and little miss Serafina here. Hi. <laughs>
Do I look funny? Do I look funny? What's that? What's that? We will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. There you go, gorgeous girl.